Hey guys, I'm going to talk about the Winter Classic jersey for the Chicago Blackhawks today and show you um, a comparison from our original uniform to what the Winter Classic is supposed to be based on. I hope you enjoy and let's get this thing started, okay? Alright, well, since the Blackhawks and Bruins are taking uh, facing each other in the Winter Classic, I just went with this as the main opening to this video. Uh, that's what the Bruin logo is, and that's what the Hawks logo is in the Classic. And there's the Winter Classic logo. So, here we go. Since I'm comparing only the Blackhawks and what they've done over there for this Classic, I'm just going to do only Hawks stuff. Sorry if you're a Bruin fan and want to see Bruins, but it's going to be only Blackhawks. Okay. That is the Blackhawks original logo in franchise history. If you can tell, they've updated the logo by putting the current Indian head in the circle and they've actually uh, did not do the um spacing of Blackhawks like on the original, but they combine the word Blackhawks because that's how it's actually spelled now. Originally, the Hawks were um, spelt with spelt like B A B L A C K space then Hawks and then in about like eighty six, I want to say they ended up flipping it, switching it to the full word Blackhawks because. Originally, when the Hawks were um, up to expand the NHL, their expansion papers, it was actually non-spaced in the word. When they created the logo, they spaced the logo, um, spaced the name in the logo, and that's how it happened to be like that for almost half the team's history. So... I do like how the Hawks updated the logo. I have to say that, but I wouldn't have been mad if they went with the original logo on the uniform because that's not a bad logo, even though it's good they updated it with the current inside it. I do like that. The circle is a little bit different because um, on the Hawks' new one for the Winter Classic, they added a white lining. I don't know if you could see it because it's on a white background. I, it's my fault for doing that. But on the original one, there was no white lining outlining the logo. But I do like the new lo uh, current, the updated logo of the Winter Classic of the original. So here's the original jersey next to our um. Winter Classic is. They're virtually the same. All the Hawks did was eliminate the stripe, eliminate um, some stripes on the shoulders, which I'm happy they did because on the original, there's quite a bit of stripes. That's kind of, that's a lot to handle. They did keep the striping pattern on the sleeves and on the Waves, but on the shoulders, they um, eliminated to down to two on the shoulders. Where on this, there were um, five going up, five going down the back. Yeah, that's quite a bit of stripes. So, I do like how they did update the um, jersey to make it more modern, but it still looks original. I I am going to get this jersey. Here's um Jonathan Taze and Teddy Graham of the 1930s Blackhawks together. Uh, they what the Hawks did, they actually did Jonathan Taze in a black and white photo in the uniform to make it represent as Teddy Graham's photo from um 1930. All they did different, Chase is having his stick, and obviously he has a helmet because in the 30s there were no helmets in the NHL. So this was a photo 
taken in 1930, the team would have been about, would have been four years old by then. But honestly, together, I thought this was a cool idea to use both the original, with a player in the original uniform and a player in the Winter Classic because it's kind of a cool comparison of updating in the future. Um, so let's go to our next set and this will be our last um, slide for this because um, this is just comparing the details. Um, sorry, I'm setting my laptop down. On the Winter Classic jersey, as you can tell, they use chain stitching, which I love. That has been in the Hawks history, been with the Hawks their entire time throughout the history of the team. So they kept it, uh, and it's still on their jerseys today. Um, and the collar, it has all six Stanley Cups, 1934, 1938, 1961, 2010, 2013, and 2015. On the 2013, I would have liked them, liked Adidas, if they put um, 17 seconds in parentheses, because we're facing the Bruins in the Winter Classic, and that's who we face to be in the Stanley Cup. And that's how we won the Stanley Cup. I do like that um, fact. Um, here's more of that same style of photo where it has the collar and part of the logo on it. What it's nice about this, it on the shoulders, it actually, if you can see, they got rid of some of those dots on the shoulders, which I like. And I do like the fact that they changed the collar up to make it more like a sweater, and that's really nice. On the logo, it actually is a felt logo, and same as the numbers, those are going to be felt as well. So, I hope you can see the, like the details that are on this jersey for the Winter Classic. Sorry if it's still crappy quality because I just don't know how to do how people are able to post a photo on the screen as it, when the video is still filming. I'm trying to figure that out, that out because I would like to do that for my videos. But honestly, let's uh, let's change this angle since I'm finished up with this show. Okay. As you can tell, I actually like this jersey. There are people out there that don't like it. I've been, I've actually been wanting the Blackhawks to wear these uniforms for a long time in the Winter Classic. When they unveiled the logo back in August, I was so happy because I knew the this was what the uniform was going to look like because. You can't put the original logo out even though it's updated without knowing what uniform it was. Because, and I've always loved the original uniform. It's heritage to the team as well as it's good history to learn about the team and what they started out with on uniforms. And as you may already know, since I already have all the jerseys, I have all jerseys I am going to be getting the winter classic but yet I still don't know who I should get on it maybe you guys can help me decide leave a comment down below on who I might who I should get on the jersey and maybe it I might choose one of your guys's ideas but most of all thank you for watching please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and let's go Hawks!